Hello YouTube and welcome to this uh, technknowledge.org video. Thank you so much for all the, the views that you guys have uh, given me for all the previous uh, videos that I've posted um, and for all the thumbs ups and subscriptions. I really appreciate that. Um, and please uh, share this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and give it a thumbs up if you like this content and you'd like to see more of it. So the, the video that's um, so far generated the most interest from, from the viewers on YouTube has been the Skype versus Viber comparison. Um, and so I thought I'd take that a step further uh, and I looked at uh, the other uh, VoIP apps on, available on the um, Google Play Store uh, on the Android operating system. Okay, so there are five VoIP apps that are um, very popular on the Android operating system. Um, and two of these I've covered in Skype and Viber um, video, which you might have seen previously. Um, but the other three are Line, Kakao, and Tango. Now, in different parts of the world, uh, these, these apps tend to dominate um, or be popular in different parts of the world, uh, which is quite an interesting phenomenon, but we will get it, maybe post a video on that at a later stage. But in this video, I thought I'd... Um, I do what I did for the Skype versus Viber comparison and actually uh, just do it across those five VoIP apps so that you can get an idea of the, the data usage um, in calls and also the standby data usage and how these apps affect the, the phone performance. Um, and so without further ado, let me um, switch to screen capture and I can show you some graphs of the results um, of the tests that I, that I ran. Okay, so first of all, let's just quickly look at the, the features, uh, comparison of the features of these five different VoIP apps. And um, as you can see, they all do texting and voice over IP. Only Skype and Tango do video calls. And all of them except Skype do contact integration. So that's integrating the existing contacts in your address book or on your phone with the app so that you can just, you don't need PIN numbers or usernames or anything like that. The, the, the app integrates with your existing contacts, which makes it far more easy to use. And then only Kakao Talk um, has a group call function, and then they can all receive and send multimedia. And then secondly, just to look at the, the, the platforms that these, these apps operate on, um, basically all of them operate on Android, iOS and Windows Phone, and then Skype and Tango don't um, operate on BlackBerry, as far as I can tell from, from their websites. If you have any information contrary to that, please post a message below or pop me an email, um, and then I'll be happy to amend that. Okay, so... Firstly, let's look at the, the results from the data usage uh, during calls. And this is not over Wi-Fi, this is over the cellular data network. Um, so obviously when you're calling on Wi-Fi, it's, it's pretty much a free call depending on your, your Wi-Fi package. Or, um, but if you're using cellular network data, then obviously there is a cost involved with it. Again, depending on the, the package or that you have and the, and the costs that your, your network charges you. But it's a good thing to know how much uh, data these, these apps actually use. And that could make a difference making network calls versus making VoIP calls over network data. So if you have a look at this, the first thing that stands out is that the Viber app uses significantly less data per minute, megabytes per minute for voice calls than all the other apps and Tango uses the most and that's so you're looking at about one and a half times more than Viber. The others, Kakao Talk, Line and Skype are, are more or less on par um, with each other so there's not much to choose between them but certainly if, you, if you're just going f looking at megabytes per minute then the, the, the Viber app uses the least amount of data and in the region of 0.25 megabytes per minute. And the Tango app uses about 0.4 uh, megabytes per minute. So it's not a lot in, in total, but if you do use it a lot, then those differences can become material. 
Then the second thing we're going to look at is the standby data usage. So this is, um, you know, these apps have to be on constantly in order to be able to receive calls from them. So if you want to use it as a, as a real alternative to network calls, then uh, you need to keep the app on in the background the whole time. And so the first thing that jumps out here is that the Skype app uses a lot more data in standby mode than any of the other apps. It uses a, over 20 megabytes per month just to, to be idle and on standby in the background, if that's without making any calls. Um, if you look at Car Talk, Line, and Viber, um, again, not much to choose between them, very small differences between them. And then Tango is sort of somewhere in between. It's just over 10 megabytes per month. Again, it's not a lot of megabytes. Even the Skype, you know, 20 plus megabytes per month. That's not a lot of megabytes. But this will at least help you decide which app to choose if that is a consideration. Then we're going to look at the, the RAM usage by these apps. Uh, so this is again in standby mode with the app not during a call, just uh, the app running in the background. And you can see here that Line stands out as, as using the least amount of RAM and uh, Kakao Talk, Skype are about equal and then Tango and Viber are the most. Um, but again, not, not a huge difference between, between them. And so, how is this really important? If we look at the standby battery usage, it, was, it wasn't actually even measurable. And so I would say that those differences in RAM usage are largely irrelevant and that you know, leaving these apps on in the background is not going to affect your phone battery life um, in a meaningful or significant way. So it is quite feasible to keep these apps on in the background if you want to use them as an alternative to, to your network calling. So just in summary, Tango uses the most data during calls and Viber uses the least amount of data during calls, almost half of what Tango uses. And then Kakao Line Vi and Viber use the least amount of data in standby mode. Skype uses the most data during standby mode, about 10 times more than Kakao Line and Viber. And then the differences in RAM usage has no meaningful impact on battery consumption, so that's not really a consideration. Okay, great. So I hope that helps you uh, make a decision uh, in terms of whether A, you'll use these VoIP apps instead of um, network calling, and B, which apps you'll use, uh, depending on your data package and your network, the, the charges that your network has for that, you can, you can make a decision based on that. So if your budget is tight or if your data charges are, are high, then you know, definitely go for Viber. And if that's not really a consideration, then Skype and Tango, uh, you know, are viable options. But again, it, it probably depends on how many people in your network of friends are on those apps and, and how, as to how useful it will be for them. But this might be a, a good uh, video to share with them as well so that they can see and make an informed decision themselves. If you have any uh, feedback in terms of the, the call quality of these voice calls on these various apps. Um, please post a, a comment below on the video and so that everyone can benefit by that and there's no point using an app that, that doesn't actually work well in terms of the call quality or there's lots of dropped calls. So if you do have any feedback on that, please do uh, comment below or if you have uh, positive feedback on one of the apps as well in terms of good voice um, quality or call quality and, and no drop calls, please do post a comment below as well. Great, thanks very much and I'll catch you next time.